Welcome to Revlog, where Brian holds to a different church calendar than the rest of us, <laughs> and uh, where Aaron, Aaron wants to it. hold an intervention. For Brian. <laughs> that's, that's, you guys will never know what goes on before we start rolling. I'm, I'm just yeah. going to say that until the footage leaks, <laughs> then all and I would all. say we probably do need to have an intervention for Brian. <laughs> Agreed. Oh that my would word! Be, oh, uh, productive. Don't please do not attempt to adjust your sets. We'll take care of this here. If you would like to participate in Brian's intervention, <laughs> please comment below with no. your, your name. Stop! And that number. makes me so happy. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you it does. Can write your letters to Brian. <laughs> we'll read them to you. So it'd be a beautiful day. <laughs> so with that said, we are now moving to the end of Matthew. Mm -hmm. Last words, um, the the Great Commission. Now I hope you were at time for teaching uh, on witnessing number two. You were there was it were, were last there? Sunday night. Yes, yeah, that that's right. Time As for teaching say. number two, where we we I talked about being obedient mm -hmm. to Christ in this way, following His last words. Uh, if you haven't, please go back and look uh, uh, in our archives for the time for teaching number two on witnessing. I think it'd be helpful here. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm grateful that you guys were there. I thought it was a good good night together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. But let's let's go ahead and let's get to the Great Commission. So Brian, what, what were your initial thoughts reading through this again? This stresses me out, this this passage of scripture, not for reasons to, Too many ver verbs think. in there to uh, get to work? <laughs> yeah, right, go, teach. Um, but not really, not for reasons that Aaron would, would think it stresses me out, or he hopes uh, <laughs> that they are. Uh, it, it stresses me out because for several years, you know, I've just been wrestling with what are we doing when we say that we are spreading the gospel? I mean, mm -hmm. are, are we calling for assent to a, a set of systematized principles, or are we teaching a certain kind of life, which mm -hmm. happens to be mm -hmm. an eternal kind of life? Right. Yeah. And anyone who lives that eternal kind of life will be with the Lord. And, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. but but sometimes we say, uh, hey, want to go to heaven? Mm -hmm. And I wonder if we shouldn't be saying or or wouldn't uh, get a, a better hearing sometimes if we would say, uh, I, I know somebody who can who teaches that kind of forgiveness that that you're wrestling with in your family mm -hmm. or, or something like that, right. you know, yeah. and and teaching a certain kind of life. Yeah, and there's a significant impact on your life today, right? Yes, it's, it's yes. Not... Somebody even said, that's right, somebody even said once, um, what if you, you know, in response to the question, what, you know, if you were to die tonight? Oh, right. What if you didn't die tonight? Yeah. Then then how are you going to live tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And it's you, a certain You can't kind of quote the saint the, who gave us that. I Well, I actually, <laughs> it's a church member that Oh, oh it's a church member. Oh, good. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Is yeah. the answer to that question or or that, 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 conundrum in the words of Jesus when he's saying, teach them what I have been, what, what you've learned from me? No, I, I do think that's that's exactly right. And and we, that's, I guess, what we sometimes call discipleship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I wonder if we, I, I don't know. And I, I don't want to, you know, step on any kind of rollout of discipleship mm -hmm. or, you know, right. but I just wonder what, what do we lead with here? Yeah. You yeah. know, it's good. It's good work. That's right. That's right. Save your questions to later. <laughs> Aaron, okay. what was your initial reaction to the Great Commission? And lo, I am with you always. Yeah. So I just, you know, after rereading this, you know, you've, mm -hmm. how many times have we read that or heard that this, this right. passage? But I'm thinking uh, he was with them, then he was not, and then he was with them again. And you, I almost get this sense, and I have this, you know, almost a caricature here, but as he's going up, you know, and, and he's saying yeah. these words, but it's, it's, oh, by the way, I'm not leaving you. Go go do all these things, but but by the way, I'm not leaving you alone. Yeah. So love as, that as you as you go out and, mm -hmm. and I'm giving you all these assignments. Don't think for a second that you're going to be left comfortless. And of course, that that promise is going to come come later and be fulfilled later. But I just there's you get this sense of you know him slipping away in into the you know to, to heaven and you're yeah. going hey yeah that's good I, I'm he is you. near yeah he is yeah. alive that's right that's right yeah yeah exactly. So let's go, let's come to questions now. So what what questions came to mind as you study the Great Commission? Well, they are related to the stress that I mm -hmm. feel, and and that is, um, 
how can I talk to people? Uh, hmm. we, we talk about, you know, I've heard all my life, um, you know, some people, boy, you got to get them lost before you can get them saved, you know, and, yeah. and you know, I, I'm not sure that everybody is thinking, you know, I'm going to hell, right. uh, but I know that people are thinking um, I'm living in a kind of hell now. Hmm. And so I, I don't know. Um, I wrestle with how do I speak to people in the middle of that mm -hmm. and be yeah. honest with my own hellish feelings sometimes in the middle of that and build that kind of bridge and say, I don't know all the answers, but I, I here's someone, I, I, here's someone who is shaping me and right. who can shape you too. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, amen. Aaron, what, what question came well, for you? Well, my question, when did we lose sight of this as an individual? And mm. when did we we put this upon the senior pastor to mm. to to take like we look at this as that's a great question. This was mm -hmm. this was Jesus' cabinet, and so we we are going to leave this in in the 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 auspices of that office, and rather than right. as as an individual believer. I've recently reread the book um, Liturgy of the Ordinary. I know Brian, yeah, you've yeah. read that, yeah. it, and it, it reminded me of a word called paradosis. And and I I love this concept because the church exists because these disciples went and they told somebody, mm -hmm. and it's and not just you know walking through the the hell that you're walking through or or, or the, the 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 doldrums, but just sharing. Yeah, I just I just want you to know you know mm -hmm. that something's changed my life, so I want to so you. And the, the church has existed because we have just been faithful to that for many right. years. Yeah. And um, we've been, we need to be reminded of that. And so the, the question is, when did we lose that perspective that this is for everybody? Yeah. And then That's what good. do we need to do to reclaim that to say, yeah. you know, I just, want to, I just want to tell you about this Jesus that I know. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Like the woman at the well, you mm -hmm. know, come hear a man that told me everything I ever did. Yeah. yeah. This is that's good. this is a great mystery that's being and revealed. It, and, he, and and as a as a response to say, I, I've been changed and I just gotta tell somebody about it. Not with some some ecclesiastical uh you know, Right. We just, put those kind that kind of language, uh yeah. ch church language or whatever jargon. Yeah, if you've been them. changed. You just want to tell people about that's right, it. Yeah, and that yeah. it, that takes that pressure off. That it's my responsibility to 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 change somebody. I just I just got something. I just got to tell you. That's right. right. Exactly. Exactly. And it's not our responsibility, right? In any way to change hearts and lives. It's yeah. A, it's the work of the Spirit mm -hmm. and, and God working in their in their lives. So, um, we'd love to you to to walk through the Great Commission with us. Um, please uh, share your comments below.